I'm here in Orlando, Florida, home of the ECHL Solar Bears. It may not be the Magic Kingdom, but as far as this league goes, the setup these boys have is pretty damn good. Today, we'll see how they live, where they train, and what life is like for a team that treats their players like gold. Welcome to paradise. Hey, how What's up, there? buddy? Nice I'm guessing you. you're Ricci? Yeah, Ricci. Okay, nice you, you look exactly. like a Ricci. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's up, boys? How you doing, man? Good, man. How are you? Kevin. What's going on? Kevin? What's Luke, up? Nice to meet you. Luke. Luke Boca. Luke Boca. Lindsay Lohan is your Where'd cousin. You, you know how I found out about all this? Is oh. Grinelli wrote a blog about you a couple of years ago when you got sucker punched. In Boston? <laughs> yeah. I had a feeling that was going to come up. I didn't think it would be this early, but... Out of the gate, man. Let's keep it, let's keep it going. Well, this looks like, this looks pretty dialed in, boys. You got a good setup here. You guess you guys yeah. are clean. Yeah, it's the first time all year it's looked like this, but hey. <laughs> you guys, you guys, nice to hear you guys. Yeah. I like this though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You guys are prepared. We're prepared. Yeah. Prepare for a big W. Yeah. That's yeah. It. And then you guys get some pre drink and then you guys, <laughs> where do you guys hit up your local Applebee's <laughs> yeah. club atmosphere. Not in Orlando. Not in Orlando. Not in Orlando. Man. We all right, we're going to Bahama Mamas tonight, boys. <laughs> this is an ECHL staple. Box spring right on the floor. That's a veteran move. Yeah. Why would you want to take apart the whole bed frame no, after the season? No, you keep can't. it. As soon as I was walking out, I'm like, this is how AHL guys would be living, right? Yeah, yeah, and not only the living, just like how they treat us at the rink, like the food, the amenities. Like I'm sure you guys will see our practice rink, the setup there. Like it's, uh, it's we're spoiled. I was commenting in. Uh, Lohan's yeah. room, yeah, uh, Kev. I call him, I call, do you guys call him Lindsay at all in the room? No, he's our captain, you know, so guys don't bring it up because, you know, he's a big guy. You know, you have to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. It's, gravity goes down, right? Who's, who, who, who's, who's the bar who, with that hat on? You, you're the guy. I swear to God. Every week it's your birthday it's and then you get the sim week. sympathy? Yeah, that happened. I'm going to wear this to the game. Maybe I'll get a little. <laughs> <laughs> the ECHL is required to pay for players' housing, but holy shit. I didn't have anything like this when I played. Look at this setup. Big luxurious patios, majestic fountains, barbecue pits, even a big private gym. Gotta get a few throws in. Time for a comeback? Can you believe they have a game room here? This this makes you the most spoiled team in the coast right here. Can I, is there a game I can play against you? I don't know how we're gonna do this. So Bolts, what position do you play? So tonight I'm gonna to wear this to the game. You need to get a tuck. Oh, I'll, I'll fill this whole thing up with Pink Whitney and chug it if you get a tuck today. <laughs> How many's he got on the year? He's got ten. Oh, for Leave fuck's sake! I'm gonna be blocked out by the yeah. post game speech. Uh, we want to thank you guys for giving us a little tour. I am keeping the lid. I'm gonna bring you a little bit of luck. So get the W tonight. Yeah. I'm gonna hammer you guys, and if you don't, I'll be sending the Venmo with Cress. And we'll see you guys at Bahama Mamas later tonight. Bahama Mama. On top of housing, the Solar Bears custom built a 125,000 square foot practice facility. It has training equipment, massage therapy, state of the art recovery rooms, and two fresh sheets of ice. This is on par with what the big leagues have to offer. Okay, so you guys even got basketball for yeah, You guys play a little... Play whatever. I think we should play a quick game of 21 for Fox City. Come on! Okay, so we're going to play a quick game of Lightning. You guys know how to play Lightning from the free throw line? Oh, yeah, knockout. Yeah, knockout? Yeah, knockout. Oh, Whit. Knock it, hey, buddy. Whit just showed up, the man of the hour. I'm ready to play some knockout. A little I'm ready to play some knockout. With the late flights? Were you sitting coach on United or what? <laughs> Middle row. <laughs> Not happy about it. Here you go, boys. Oh, shit. Worst basketball player in the world. Okay, you're second. Let's go. I'm last. Oh! Ah, no! go on, yeah. Thanks for coming, Whit. Intro, outro. Beat it. <laughs> Steph Curry. <laughs> Fuck. So other than staring at girls in yoga pants, these guys come play a little basketball. They hit up the weights and they actually have an unreal sauna steamer set up. We're gonna head there after this. Uh-oh, oh. missed it! Oh Very kind of me and Ryan to let them win. Now it was off to the sauna and steam to take a load off. Ugh, the dreaded cold tub. My arch nemesis. You don't, you don't wanna get caught with a, with a screenshot after the shrinky dinky tub. Like a button on a fur coat. 
Well, at least for me anyway. But you got to recover with some contrast, especially after intense skates from my old pal, Drake Barahowski. Does coach, uh, coach bag you guys quite a bit? Over and back! Yeah! No dust! No dust! It was getting close to game time, and I don't know if I've mentioned this, but tonight is Pink Whitney night, and the team is sporting some custom unis. Check out these bad boys. You've seen the housing, you've seen the facilities, but now you have to see how the sauce is really made. And what better guy to talk to than team trainer, Adam Dexter. We've asked around and apparently he's quite the character. Our equipment manager, Adam Dexter, is one of a kind. Probably one of the funniest humans I've ever met. Oh gosh, Dex, Dex is a piece of work. Uh, he, uh, he definitely has a, a different personality, but uh, you know we enjoy having him around here in the locker room and he's very good at what he does. We were just in Portland, Maine. The entire trip for five days, he talked in a Boston accent. No serious conversation, non-serious kind like didn't change. Like he sounded like Peter Griffin. I do good the Russian. I like to do the Southern thing a lot too. I think I think I do a pretty good Drake uh, impersonation as well. I forget to do my uh, French accent. Base to Macachon, you fuck hard, you yeah. dirty pig. <laughs> <laughs> this here is uh, one of my new favorite products, laundry sauce. I've been using it on our guy stuff, and I can tell you. These guys smell, they smell terrible. But I tell you what, I throw one of these pods in the washer, boom. They smell like my grandfather, who was a Siberian lager. They smell like Siberian pine. Best smell in the world. Look for it, laundry sauce. Smell good, look good, most importantly, feel good. Yo! Hey, hey, Paul Bissonnette. <laughs> Spin chiclets? <laughs> Fuck off. You're gonna give me the gears already? This is Dex, travels on the road with him, sharpens skates, washes gitch. What, do, what don't you do? Uh, you know what, I don't date a lot. Okay, yeah. single. We, yes. should, we should team you up with uh, Boca. There we go, there we go. <laughs> He's my doppelganger too, so. I was initially surprised to hear Dex wasn't a ladies man, but as he took me through the locker room, I got it. This guy was married to the game. Now it was off to the coach's room to talk with Drake and the boys for a little pre-game strategy. The boys of the hour, Mr. Stahl, one of the four that signed a, a big ticket to the NHL, and my former D partner, Drake Barahowski. <laughs> why are you laughing? We were D partners. You kept me in the game that long, that's why. I'll never forget my first training camp, you and Chris Beach. Chris Beach, I think, got you on the hands and you fucking <laughs> dropped him quicker than Jack Rabbit. That doesn't happen very, that didn't happen very often, so. So uh, what should we expect tonight in this big matchup? We hope for two points. You know, it's uh, they have a pretty good team, so you know, watching them on video and stuff, they look pretty good. So hopefully, our guys will uh, play a little angry tonight, and we'll get the job done. Or yeah, well, he was telling me if we get the W tonight, he's going to join me in the hot tub, maybe post game <laughs> for a couple. You don't, don't want to see all this. In the hot tub. <laughs> I'm your, retired. No, no, post game press I conference. Your pink Whitney bottoms. Yeah, we got, actually got a, a man thong for you if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> Are you fucking boys ready? So we got five hundo for me and the black card from Whit, and I got the starting line up here. Who's starting up front from the KHL smoking the Russian gas? Number nine, Lapina. Yeah. Number eighteen up front, Vigis. Yeah. Number ten, forward Tough Toe. Yeah. Number three, McKinnis. Yeah. Number twenty, Bronzinski. Yeah. It's starting again, Baroni. Across, Jake Transit steps into a blast from the left circle. Behind the net, it's chased down by Tyler Bird. He'll make his way to the corner. Let's go! Let's go! Back to the point. Low hand, good home shot. Redirected, and they score! Luke Boca! Yeah! Boca! Boca! He fucking got one! He fucking got one! I'm a man of my word. A bet's a bet. Not a boy, Boca. <laughs> Got one. The game was going great, but then I lost track of the wit dog. 
Guys, you're probably wondering why I'm dressed up as a mascot right now. It's Pink Whitney Night, Orlando Solar Bears, an enormous game, business in the stands. I had to take the role of Shades. I've always wanted to be a mascot. Let's go mess with some people and get the Solar Bears going. I'm not kidding you. <laughs> That's worse than any cash. I don't remember being down with Biz. I, I, it was I, that was at my peak of like kind of blacking out a little bit. That's the most ridiculous workout of all time. All right, fans, I'm hanging out with Paula Bessonette, and guess what? It's time for the Pink Whitney shot of the game. Now, you know he did not come alone. We got four contestants behind us, and guess what they get to do? They get to, they get to take a shot at center ice. Now, here's the deal. We're gonna give them two chances each. If one of them makes a shot, Paul, I can't even believe you're doing this. He's gonna hook up that fan with a full year of Pink Whitney. All right, fans, raise up first. Cheer on in three, two, one, go. She gets two shots. Oh, for a full year of Pink Whitney, here's her shot. Just left. It's all right. Oh, she's being strategic right now. Can this be it? Oh my goodness, that was the closest I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh no. Paul wants some action right now, ladies and gentlemen, Orlando! You got this. Fans in the building, show them some love. Well, I forgot my hands, but the boys sure didn't. They were absolutely buzzing, and the atmosphere was electric. Look at that snipe. Right in the slot, top cheese. How's your mama? The Polish Prince is back, baby. 3 nothing Solar Bears. Keep the change. Oh, yeah, lady, are you impressed? <laughs> so am I. How's for that chug job? Let's go, baby. Well, I mean, guys, come on, I've been working my fucking ball bag off. It's time for a soak. They set up a beautiful hot tub for me. Now I get to enjoy the action and style. A little rest and relaxation. I've never watched a hockey game from a hot tub before, so I figured I'd mix in a little mid-game soak with my boy Grinnell. Cheers, bud. And even a couple random fans joined us. A little bit of Cocktoberfest going on in the hot tub to get the mojo going. and a drive and they score. Although we might have thrown it off in the wrong direction. To the red line, feeds right side Manic over the Orlando blue line, drops it off. Nielsen, wrister, saved by Barone. Loose puck, a shot and a score. Right for Dostu, 46 seconds remaining. Back up high for Bradley. Bradley, Martin, one-timer, score. And the Grizzlies tie it. Ah, God damn it, they tied it up. 
No more hot tub for me. Let's deflate this thing and get back to the seats. Alexei Lapanov wins the draw, and the third period is underway. Hunter Fee just left side, wires one wide. Man, this game was a nail biter. Everyone in the building was on the edge of their seats. Back and forth, track meet hockey. Oh, what a what a, what a, what a, what a play! Oh, to McKinnis, wires one and a oh, glove save. Oh my God, what an atmosphere, by the way. Unreal. Better than any AHL atmosphere. Covered up at the side of the net. Driving in with Simeone, he and Lohan begin to engage. Third period, game still tied at three. Witt and I hanging off of every play. Oh! All right, all right, we'll get it done we're in done, overtime. We're done, we're done, we're done, we're done. We're done. We're good. We're good. We're good. Ah, overtime. Free hockey on Pink Whitney night. Don't mind if I do. We couldn't have scripted it any better. This will be a miracle victory right here. It's brought out by Tardif, and the Grizzlies have to touch up. Tardif trying to surge around Boca, tied up in front of the benches, laying it back on the ice, hacking away at it, swats it back into the defensive zone. Defensive Blur, side of it. Hesitating. Launches this one out to McKinnis. Possible two on one with Blur. McKinnis drops it off. Lang it shoots. Wins it in overtime. We did it! We did it! Solar Bears win! We did it! In the coast, paradise isn't just nice gyms, catered meals, and nice housing. Paradise is packed arenas watching great games and watching your team win an OT. They were right. This is fucking paradise. It's all